What's going on folks, Renegade here. Now today, I was gonna do some work on my Porsche, but I'm still waiting on AutoZone to get me the oil filter that was supposed to be here the next day. That was three days ago. Thanks AutoZone, you're holding me up. But since I gotta wait, I'm gonna do work on this. This is my 91 Volvo 245. Which, as I've said in previous videos, I'm not the original owner. I am third or fourth owner. I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that, so I got this car, I inherited it from my mother. She bought it from another guy. Past that, I don't know where the history is. But, since I'm stuck waiting, for a part for my other project, I figured I'd work on this car today and take care of a little thing that's been driving me a little nuts. I'm not talking about the fact that this roof needs to be repainted. Um, the clear coat is obviously flaking off. You can see the weird patches, but you can also see this weird grid pattern that's up here and these weird little nubbies. See, back in the late 70s, the 80s and the early 90s, yes, that's how long this production car lasted, they came with an option of having a roof rack or a luggage rack, more specifically. This car obviously had one at one point. Now, my black one never did, which is fine by me. I didn't want a roof rack on my black car. But this one had it. You can tell because these nubbies right here, you'll see them in multiple places down on the hood. See, because if you had a car, that had the luggage rack on it and you decided that you didn't want it. The luggage rack is obviously bolted to the roof. So you would unbolt it and then you'd be left with holes, which then you'd have to fill with grommets and plugs. Luckily, IPD sells a kit that you can buy. And I suspect that's where these came from because the previous owner to us liked IPD. I don't blame them. I use them all the time. But I'm not a big fan of these weird little nubbies being on my roof. So I'm actually gonna put a luggage rack back on. Plus I figure, you know, I'm gonna use this car more for cargo. You know, I work on my house and when you need like a few sheets of four by eight plywood or four by eight drywall, although it does fit just barely, but it does fit in the back of the car, you run the risk of bending it and breaking it and I don't wanna do that. So this is gonna actually be more useful for me to have a car with a luggage rack on it. Now, this is kind of a strange how too because well it's not my normal thing for one but also i was looking online and nowhere did i see anybody talk about how to install a roof rack on a volvo 240. so i figured i would do it why not right but we're going to do it obviously a little differently now see my family have always been pack rats so naturally I have a Volvo luggage rack that was just sitting in the garage. I don't need to go out and buy one, but there's no hardware. All I have is this. Now you can buy a hardware kit online. I think I saw one on eBay. Somebody, as most people do, they took off the roof rack, they sold the roof rack. Now they're selling the hardware separately because it's going to make them a little extra money. Fine, whatever. But. I don't feel like spending, I think it was listed at like 60 bucks for the hardware. <clears throat> I don't feel like spending that for this. So we're gonna do it a little bit differently, but we're still gonna do it the proper way. So what are we gonna need? Well, for one, if you are, let's say you never had a roof rack, obviously this is gonna be the fun point where you have to drill holes into your roof. Now, I'm lucky because it was already done for me. Can I get this up with my fingers? Yes. Arr. For me, I just had to pull these plugs out and then I'll pull the grommets out as well. But what you would need to do, you'd have to lay out your roof rack, figure out where you wanted it, mark it, put tape down so you don't destroy your paint and then drill holes directly into your roof. Now, luckily, you don't have to drill very far. You only have to drill through this top panel. And the reason for that is because you're gonna be using well nuts for it. That's how they would have done it. That's how we're gonna do it. 
and it's the best way honestly because it's tight under here there's a support rail that rides basically right under here so although it's possible it's very tricky to like get up there with a nut and hold the nut and spin a bolt from the top we're not going to do that in fact this project is actually so easy we don't even need to go in the car at all we don't need to remove the headline or anything like that but if you're drilling out holes obviously be very very careful not to hit your headliner because then you'll rip it and it's a pain and yeah so obviously we got the roof rack we're gonna go inside and i'm going to show you what we need in terms of parts to do this also it's a little cold out here so i'm looking forward to getting inside where it's a little bit warmer and there's no wind all right so what i did was i went online i bought myself a box of well nuts what's cool about these is that they are if you've never worked with these they're rubber right kind of look like a top hat and inside i don't know if you can see it very well there are threads so you drop this into the hole put the bolt through and it tightens in these threads and actually cinches the rubber up so it doesn't come out you see a lot of these on like motorcycle fairings and stuff like that. I also got these stainless steel cap sockets or socket cap screws. Sorry. <clears throat> I just made sure that I got the same thread here and here so that they all work. And what's cool is th about these is one, they're stainless steel, so they're not going to rust. And two, they're going to fit down into the, uh, the holes my brackets i also got this a sheet of rubber well actually i think it's a neoprene silicone rubber compound whatever and what this is going to be for is it's going to work as a gasket but it's also going to help prevent any wiggling in my uh, roof rack from scratching up and marring my paint more than already is now you did see like i said the car the, the clear coat's coming off which means it will need to be resprayed. Luckily, this is gonna be so easy to put on and take off that when it comes time to repaint the car, which I am going to do, um, just not right now, it's January, it's cold, it's not time for that. I'll be able to take the whole roof rack off, paint the car, and then put the whole thing back on. It's not gonna be a problem. It's gonna be easier than some of the other trim, to be honest with you. So, like I said, you could buy the gaskets and everything the proper stuff but i'm cheap so i'm not doing that what i'm going to do instead if i can get it out of the packaging there we go i'm going to take this and simply trace it onto here and mark it and i'll just cut it out of this so i'll have the right size the right shape it's not stock, but it basically is the same thing you would have had. I just gotta hope that my marker shows up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm constantly losing Sharpie markers. How does this happen? So I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but I did mark it out and I can see it. It's just, it's a little difficult. Um, that's gonna work well enough for me. I'm just gonna cut it out real fast. Now the description on Amazon said that this is really easy to cut and you should be able to cut it with simple scissors. So we're gonna hope that's true. It is, yay. Just like that. Obviously I gotta put holes in it for the uh, the actual nuts too, which I don't think I'm gonna use my old hole punch method because that's kind of a pain. There you go. One done. Uh, five more to go. We do that real fast. All right. Now the gas is cut out and I should make mention that I actually cut the holes in there in the, uh, the rubber wide enough to accept the head of the well nut this way i'll sit flush and like i said these guys just drop right on down and get it situated right there we go 
And now, it's time to actually put it all on. The other thing worth mentioning. So right here, you'll see, hopefully, a speed clip, or a speed nut, whatever you want to call it. It's because on each of the stanchions, this is the wrong side, but there's this hole, and a screw goes in that way to make sure that everything stays nice and tight. So now, let's just bolt it all in. There you go. One stock roof rack installed on the 240. Gives a very classic look, doesn't it? I mean, this was the way a lot of them came. So a couple things to note. One, if you notice, yes, I'm missing a bolt right here. Somehow I goofed and I'm missing one bolt. I apparently didn't get enough, but I'm gonna run to the store and get another bolt and drop it in, It'll be fine. But I will also make mention that this screw right here, I found that it's actually easier to put the screw in, get it started in the speed nut before bolting the stanchion down. But just to make sure that you get everything lined up properly because that all keeps the actual grid nice and tight to your roof. Eh, you live and you learn, right? <sighs> well guys, I hope you like. Like I said, I kind of dig it. So it's not the look I want for my black one. This one, I prefer being nice and sleek. But for the 91, I'm happy with it, especially if I'm gonna be using it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment or any questions you have down below. I'll get to them as soon as you pop them in. And if you're not already subscribed, please do hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video because I got more stuff coming. In fact, right now I'm waiting on delivery from UPS, a big package from IPD, which has front control arms, ball joints, uh, something else, and rear shocks. Because this car needs rear shocks on the bad. That's actually why I've been driving it very tamely, very cautiously. Well, that and the control arm. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video and so we're going to be moving and grooving on some more stuff. I actually just got the phone call a couple minutes ago saying that the oil filter for this car is in. So I'm going to go pick that up and pick up the bolt I need for the roof rack. And yeah, hopefully I'll be back soon with some videos on the Porsche, the 944. More videos on the 91. Possibly even some more videos on my 87. Plus I got all the motorcycles and yada yada, you see where I'm going, it's a long list. So until next time, y'all keep rocking and rolling. I'm obviously going to keep taking care of business. I'll see you in the next one.